Well, for today's Sync Science video, I'd like to show something really cool you can do with a CD spindle, a tall one especially. This was given to me recently. I figured, what can I do with this thing? It's, I'm going to do some really cool things, but for today, I'm going to use it just as a simple container. It's nice and tall and narrow. I'll set it on top of the CD turbine, and we'll spin it up with some water and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put the... Uh, Got a magnetic coupler here. It's a 5CD uh, with magnets, 132nd magnets in between. So I'll use that as the driver to uh, drive the uh, fluids inside our container. Okay, I'm going to fill that up with water. top of the uh, CD turbine. Let that settle down a bit. Add a little more water. Top it up. I think I'll call this experiment the beauty of the vortex. Okay, now we're ready to roll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the camera from the tripod and see if we can uh, capture some of the beauty of the vortex. Okay, I'm going to fire up the turbine here. I guess I better turn on the water pressure first. Okay, here we go. Okay, the CD is going around. The uh, magnetic coupler is going around. We have a vortex slowly forming here. Let me give it full throttle on pressure there. Okay, now you can see the vortex forming right down into the bottom. It's so cool seeing these vortexes. You can see the rope-like structure of the vortex it's rotating. Quite beautiful. Light reflecting off the red uh, reflected CD ROM on the bottom as it rotates. It's a nice lighting effect. Let's look at the upper part of the vortex from underneath here. Now let's go for a little journey right into the center of the vortex. Here we go up over the edge, looking down, down, down into the vortex. As close as I can without destroying my camera totally. I'll just increase the uh, Use the vortex a little bit. Let's see it actually suck down into the center of the magnetic coupler. Beautiful thing to watch. Well, that's today's sync science.